This time we're going to remove audio gaps, mainly the sliding part. Um, I've seen this done with um, video game reviewers, uh, movie reviewers, and podcasts. They remove all the sliding, you know, audio. And this makes them look more professional because uh, it's boring to hear the silent part, you know what I'm saying? And um, I believe this is the way they do it, or they might have some other fancy one, but this one is free and it works on uh, all the OS's, okay? And this one is called Audacity. So go to your Synaptic Package Manager and Audacity and install that. And also the Codex, Ubuntu Restricted Extras. This should take care of the MP3, the lame encoder, all that shit. Okay. And after you have that, um, open your Audacity. Now, if you're on another OS, um, make sure you're in the edit here, edit preference, that uh, in the export, import export, that you have the MP3 lame encoder libraries. If you don't have it, just go download it and they'll tell you how to uh, install that in okay so that's that for the other OS's but uh, back to our task here we have uh, audacity here right so we're gonna load up our uh, audio track that we want to fix okay so this one we just gonna drag it in and what you wanna do now is highlight the whole track and that's uh, control A so we highlight the whole track and then go to effects Okay, and go down to truncate silence, and we're gonna set it to um, 250. Now notice here, right? This is our full length. It's gonna cut all the silence in a minute. So, and you see, now it's shortened up to uh, around 215, right? So uh, we have a lot of silence. And let's say uh, if the audio is, you know is very low and you want to amplify it you can do that too Let's say um, go to um, effects again and go to amplify and this one since this is not a music audio or anything like that it's just kinda like a uh, voice recording uh, we, we're gonna allow clipping okay and move the slider to your liking but I usually just put 10 okay and if you want to preview it, it's here, okay? So let's say we're going to preview this. Let's see how it sounds like, okay? Right now I'm watching, um... So it sounds pretty good. Um, so we'll click OK. And the changes has been done, okay? Now what you want to do is uh, export it or save it, okay? So go to File and Export. And you know, and give it a name if you like. Okay. And here's the file. There's different choices. Uh, we're gonna use MP3s. And then we're gonna click save. And you wanna put an artist name? Okay, we will put one. Let's see. And the, fill out the rest if you like, but uh, that's about it. So click OK. And there you go, it's creating our uh, mp3 file. Okay, so this is done with, okay. And we have our mp3 here, right? But how does that stack up to our original? Our original is here, so we're going to open it. Right now I'm watching... Uh, Pause this. And see how, mu how much time was that? 2.32, that was the length of our original. And after we remove the silence, let's see how much that was. Okay, 2.32 versus right now I'm watching, uh, um, 2.13. So that's about uh, 20 seconds. See? So if this was, you know, maybe an hour audio or an hour podcast or whatever, you can, rem you know, how much time you save just by removing the, the audio silence, right? So uh, that's how you do that. Um, I usually use this on my other channel because, uh, you know, I, I I use an audio recorder, and that's mainly my other purpose of the other channel. But um, if you're doing that too, I recommend doing this. Uh, it looks maybe not really professional, but at least you take out enough gap to not make you know your shit sounds boring or something like that. 
Um, so check it out if uh, you need something like this. Um, I definitely do. Or if you listen to podcasts and they pause a lot or whatever the hell they're doing, this will save you time with that. So that's it.